Okay, moving right along. I'll move on to my Giovanni products because I am a Giovanni girl. I have been a fan of Giovanni since like day one. I love Giovanni products. Giovanni Tea Tree Triple Treat. It's always so hard to say. Everyone always says triple threat, triple threat, but it's Tea Tree Triple Treat. A triple treat, like treats, like snacks. Candy. Yeah, the conditioner and the shampoo. I shampoo with this mainly when I want to strip my hair because it does strip your hair. That's how I feel, but it doesn't strip, strip, strip it where it's too, too dry. And it also helps with your scalp if you have an itchy scalp because it has the peppermint in it. And I, I'll pair it up with this. I try to use this usually when I have an itchy scalp and also if I want to um, strip my hair, but not strip, 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 but you know. Giovanni 50-50 Balance. And I told you I love these. That's why I have to get the big ones. The 50-50 Balance Conditioner. It's a light conditioner, but I love it because it penetrates the hair shaft and it nourishes your hair. That's what's important about conditioners you use. Yes, you can buy a cheap conditioner, but sometimes they don't have the ingredients in it that's going to nourish your hair. So you can put anything on your hair, it can make it look nice, it can make it smell nice, but you'll notice your hair is not, you know, lustrous or like strong or soft or, you know, whatever it might be because you may be using something that's just masking your hair, it's coating it, but it's not giving it nourishment. So you wanna try to find those types of products and Giovanni is just definitely that. So this is one of their conditioners that I use, the 50-50 Balance. Root 66 is another one that I absolutely love. I had two of these, this is the second one. I haven't used this one in a while because like I said, I rotate through products. But this, I love this because this is a thicker conditioner and it coats your hair, And um, but it, it just makes it, let's see, it says it's for limp, lifeless hair yeah and it kind of plumpens your strands up so i love this conditioner i really love it and these conditioners do not have like heavy dyes or perfumes they have organic or ingredients i don't think they're 100 percent organic but they don't have things in there that are bad for your hair so check them out when you get a chance i also have the giovanni too Chic Ultra Moist Conditioner and Shampoo. I haven't used this one in a while either. It's not in rotation, but now that these ones that you see that I haven't used, I'll probably start to use them again because I haven't used them in a while. The conditioner, as always, is always the empty one first. I don't use a lot of shampoo, and so this one is still full, but I try to pair things up together and these work pretty well. They have avocado and olive oil and I believe ha they have protein so I don't use them all the time but when I did use them this is really good like if you have damage or if you feel your hair is a little bit like um, weak this is good for that. The last Giovanni product that I'm going to talk about is my Giovanni Direct Leave-In. You see I have the big one because I love this leave-in. Once again, it's another lightweight product that goes on your hair and it, you can um, you know, detangle your hair. You can use it daily as a leave-in and you can use it after you wash and condition and now you want to put your leave-in and then seal. It's light, like it says, I think, yeah, weightless walking treatment. It's a direct leave-in and a lot of naturals on YouTube use this. I highly recommend this. As a matter of fact, this is the only leave-in that I have. I have another one under the sink that I haven't used in a while. It's called Rusk, but I haven't used that in a while. Giovanni is my one and only leave-in. Okay, that's it for the Giovanni products. Hair masks or deep treatments. So far, I um, have the Vatica garlic and the Vatica virgin olive. I haven't used this one in a while, so I don't remember. I would have to look in my hair journal to see, but both of them are wonderful. As you can see, it's just about empty. And I recently used this one and it's finished. I have to buy another one, but I love, since this is the most recent one that I've used, I can remember what it's like and I really love this. I got these because I wasn't in the habit of using hair masks and when I used them, um, they worked miracles on my hair because I had a hair mist pack last year. So I had to recover from that and these really, really helped to strengthen my hair and moisten it at the same time. And then when you see that you use it after maybe two, three times, then don't use it again 
until you feel that you need it or you're gonna get protein overload. Cause that happened to me, I kept using it and then I noticed that my hair felt really, really hard. That's because it was too much protein. So you have to kind of weigh it out and see. When you use protein products, use them until your hair doesn't need them anymore and then move on. And then my other protein um, treatment, the Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor by Apogee. I haven't used this in a while, but this is really, really good as well. Two minutes, you can leave it in your hair most five minutes. That's what I usually do, five minutes. And it works wonders. Look at some of the reviews on YouTube. Okay, we're almost done. Another one of my all time favorites is Aubrey. Well, they used to call it Aubrey Organics, but I noticed they don't have the organics anymore. I noticed that it just says Aubrey. I had the honeysuckle rolls, but I haven't used that in a while, so that's under my sink. But more recently, I've been using the, um, and this is the new one, so I'll show you the other one. The GPP Shampoo and Conditioner. I love this stuff. This is another protein um, conditioner and shampoo. And honestly, the, the protein shampoo, it does not strip your hair at all. And the conditioner, I mean, after this conditioner, after I use this all the time, I'm trying to tell you, like, I think there's no conditioner that has made my hair feel so soft than this one right here. I mean, rave reviews for this Aubrey Organ, well, Aubrey conditioner. They changed the bottle, so I don't know if they changed the formula, I have to look, but this is what the new one looks like, because I like to stack up all my products. I don't like running out. I'm a Taurus, so if anyone knows about Taurus and astrology, we like to, we like security, we like to know we have our money, we like to know we have our things, we just don't like to run out of stuff. We always try to plan ahead. And so this is my new one for when this one runs out. And I still have lots of shampoo. Like I said, I don't use much shampoo. So this is the new one, but great, great stuff. And it's organic. I highly recommend this stuff. Now, another one by Aubrey is this one. Now, this is a new product. I got it from Whole Foods. This is the conditioner. Island Naturals Conditioner Avocado Oil and Mango Butter. This stuff smells so good. Lord have mercy. I love this conditioner. I love this conditioner. It makes your hair so, I mean, it says it's paraben free, gluten free, um, cruelty free. It's organic. Mango and organic butters, replenishing conditioner, detangle smooth hair fiber to control frizz, leave hair silky. It does everything that it said. I love this. Aubrey and Giovanni, I love, love, highly recommend. I don't use the shampoo. I just use this because this is a moisturizing conditioner. And so when I found myself using too much protein, I was like, when I started co-washing, I started using this to co-wash with, and it worked wonders. Love it. Oh, one more shampoo. It's an old time favorite of mine, but the Bead Mine Nourishing Shampoo, Peppermint and Tea Tree. This product is discontinued, but I still have a little bit left. Boy, this is a moisturizing shampoo. It doesn't strip your hair. It cleans your hair. It smells like a natural smell. I love this stuff. One more shampoo, sorry. More recently, I tried the um, Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Shampoo. I really like this, and I just tried it one time. It didn't strip my hair. It smells so good. And um, I would definitely continue using this and keep you updated on my progress with this. Stylers. Now, I don't use stylers very much, but the ones that I do have are the Olive Oil by Elastic QP Mango Butter Curl Defining. Um, pudding and the curl enhancing smoothie by Shea Moisture. Um, this one I like because um, it's not that thick. It's thin and then it has like a little bit like a pudding and kind of gel like consistency. You definitely have to wash your hands after because you'll feel a sticky feeling. So it's good to Let's see, kind of like you will put it to moisturize your hair to try to style it and kind of slick it. That's what this is for, and I don't use much of it. I've had this jar forever. Like I said, I don't use stylers like that. It's kind of shaky. It smells pretty good. It's not a natural product, though. I can tell you that, so I can't say that, you know, the ingredients are the best, but um, it's okay if I don't use it that much. The Curl Enhancing Smoothie, I like. 
I can't say I love only because I think it's a little too thick like a little does go a long way I think I'm still trying to figure out how to use this product um, but it smells so good and it's all natural and it's organic a lot of people like it to me it's okay but you know I use it seldom so it doesn't really matter now my shea butter mix smells really good this one doesn't really have that that much of a smell because I didn't put too much of the essential oil but I like this I'm just now starting to use shea butter again I had stopped for a while and I like to use them on my twists and my braids when I put them in so that it could smooth it out and take away the frizzies and stuff like that so I'll be using this more since I'm doing more protective styles but I really love it when I'm doing the braids and the twists Last but not least, gels. I do not use gels very often. I have the Eco Styler gels here. I have the Argan Oil. I have the Olive Oil. And I have the um, Clear one. As you can see, I use the Clear one the most. And the Argan Oil I've had for a while, so it's like halfway. And this one, I got it like over the summer and it's still full to the top. I think I mostly use gels in the summertime if I do a wash and go, which I seldom do. And um, yeah, if I'm doing a ponytail and I want my natural curl pattern to show, I'll dampen my hair and then smooth it out with the gels. But I really don't use gel that much, honestly and truly. But when I do, these are the ones that I use. So. I'm done. That is all. I think I've covered everything. So those are my products, the products that I use and rotate through. And I absolutely love them. And the ones that I told you that I recommend, like my Giovanni and Aubrey, oh, love, love, love them. But thank you guys for watching. And um, don't forget to check out my fashion channel. I made this shirt that I have on with a matching skirt and you can check out my Instagram. I have plenty of photos there where I post all of them first before I do my DIYs. I have wonderful fashion DIYs. I made this headband and these are available for sale on my shop. Please check it out on um, many more. No, that's it. Thank you guys so much. I love you all. Bye-bye.